In this video, I'm going to show you how to get the Wii Station channel on your Wii and your virtual Wii. This will allow you to go straight to the Wii Station emulator uh, instead of going through the homebrew channel. Now I'm going to be doing this tutorial from scratch, but if you already know how to install WADs, just go ahead to the description and find the link for the WAD and then you can install it yourself. But if you don't know how to install WADs, I'll walk you through that right now. Go to the link in the description and it should take you to the Google Code Archive. I'm going to be using YAM. So just click on the third link and it should download a zip file. You'll need an extraction software like WinRAR to do this. And then go to the next link. Uh, this is where we're going to find our Wii Station WAD. So scroll down um, until you find these attachments. So the first one, I believe, is the Virtual Wii. Yep, if I hover here, it says VWii. And then the second one is for the Wii, so make sure you get the proper file. Uh, you don't want to be trying to install a virtual Wii WAD on the Wii because that could make things go wrong. So just make sure you have the proper one and you'll be good. So once you have those downloaded, just pull up your storage device that you use to mod your Wii or your virtual Wii. So I'm going to be doing this on the Wii, but the steps will be the same. Everything goes into the same folder um, for the virtual Wii as well. So let's open up the YOM file and then click into the YOM, double click, and just drag the apps folder onto the root of your SD card or your uh, USB drive. Now, I already have uh, this app, so I'm just gonna replace it. But once it's in there, you can go into your apps and you should see WAD Manager, and it should have these three files. So just double check that it's there, and we'll close that WinRAR file and open up, make sure it's the proper one. I'm doing this on Wii. Open up the download, and then on the root of your SD card or your USB drive, right click and create a folder and just call it WAD. Three letters, all lowercase, that's all you need. Make sure it's spelled correctly or else your uh, WAD manager won't be able to find the WADs. So once you have that in there, go to the WinRAR file and drag this WAD download into that folder. And then when it's over, just double click to see that it's in there. And just again, double check that you have the proper one. But essentially, that's it, and uh, we're ready to go over to the Wii. And once you're over on your Wii, just go to the Homebrew channel, start it up, and then once your apps load, we're looking for yet another WAD manager. So click A on it and load it. Now, a fair warning, uh, the controllers with Wii Motion Plus built inside do not work on this WAD manager. Uh, so you need an original Wii remote. Third party ones also don't work. But once you load here, just click A on iOS 249. Click A on disable. And then select your source device. So mine is on um, USB 2.0. If yours is on an SD card, obviously pick the SD slot. If you pick the wrong one, so if I, if I click uh, USB mass storage device, it'll just say um, air and nothing bad will happen and you can just go ahead and select so but don't worry nothing will go wrong if you choose the wrong one so I'm gonna select USB 2.0 and then we have a list of our wads I only have one wad so uh, just go down with the d-pad click a on it and you can install it and if you want ever want to get rid of it you can also uninstall it from here so I'm gonna click a on install and it should be pretty quick and press any button to continue and just press the home button and it should take you back to the homebrew channel and then I'll meet you back on the Wii menu and we can check out our new channel and just like that it is there so if you load it up it's actually really cool but then you can just start it right from the home so it just gives you a nice good looking shortcut on your Wii menu but that's it for the video. Uh, I hope you found this tutorial helpful, and if you did, please leave a like. If you ran into any issues, just comment below and I'll try to help. Uh, but anyways, I'll see you on the next one. Take care.